Hello, phenomenal math peeps. So I am back um, with another video, but this time I'm going to show you how to log in through Clever and assign Envision lessons for your students that they can interact with and they have tools in order to um, solve their math work with and then um, so you can see how they're completing their assignments. So without further ado, I'm going to screen share with you again and um, allow you to see basically how to assign those lessons through Envision. I'm going to use fourth grade only because um, Miss Bozeman so graciously allowed me to use her uh, login information because I do not have any rosters of kids in Envision, um, only classroom teachers do. So I had to use a classroom teacher's account to be able to um, access the way to um, assign the Envision resources through Pearson Realize. So here we go. So I'm going to log in through Clever. But I'm not logging in as myself this time. I'm logging in as a classroom teacher just so you can see from your view. Like I said, I do not have um, access to a roster through Envision. So I'm going to log in, but I'm going to have to change my login information. All right. All right, so now that I am into Clever, I am going to be looking for the Pearson Realize um, tool. I'm going to go to the district page um, only so I can see everything. And then there you see, again, that grade four e-learning that she has access to and then also Edsby's built in as well. So you can access both of those through Clever. But I am going to go down to um, some of the resources here and you see Pearson Realize. I'm going to put a heart there so that it pops up or it should pop up near the top of my screen somewhere. Maybe it's on the home page. Anyway, you will see the Pearson Realize app. I'm going to click on that. Um, and if you have not set up this um basically this app before within Clever, it's going to ask you to um, like set up your options. Basically, it's going to ask you like your grade levels that you've taught. Um, you're going to set up like a background image for this. So if you haven't gone through that, that's what it's going to ask you to do first before anything else. Um, but she's already set up within Clever. So notice that she has her math blocks, um, math grade four. Here's her first math block and then here's her other math block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, into the Pearson Realize system from here. I'm not going to do anything here right now. I'm going to go to Pearson Realize. I'm going to open this up, and then I'm going to be able to explore and browse the resources available. Again, my internet's a little slow because I have satellite internet, so it takes a minute. It's not so instant. Um, so before I go to create assessment assignments, I'm going to browse. And Pearson's had a lot of pop-ups lately on, like, how can they help you? So um, use that tool if you need any help with that. So I'm going to go to browse to look at resources first before I go to create assignments because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to assign to these students. But... Um, there's some teacher PD videos too here for you, like getting started. Um, I know we haven't done like a really deep dive into this because we haven't used Envision so much this school year. So use that PD that's within this if you need that additional support as you work through um, assigning these lessons for your students. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the interactive student edition. That's kind of where I'm going to start. Um, actually, no, I lied. I'm not going to start there. I'm going to keep going. I am actually going to go to the topic that the students are going to be working on first. And I know with fourth grade, they are going to be working with measurement, finding equivalence of units to measure. So I'm going to click on topic 13 because I want to look in that topic and see specifically what it is that I want to assign to students. Um, notice again, you have professional development videos for you as the teacher. 
Um, some of these things like today's challenge um, and share um, solving chairs, those are kind of things that you would do more whole class. So maybe not so much that, um, but if you don't have access to your teacher's edition, the teacher's edition text is there um, right at the top for you to use. You see teacher resources. What's great about this is you can even create content um, for this unit. So if I wanted to create content, I could upload a file or add a link or I could even build a test that I wanted to do. I love the resource and I've shared with some of you. Um, it's called Mr. Nussbaum. Um, if you go to Mr. Nussbaum, he has a ton of math learning games that you can um, use in a, a lot of like cross content games. So like fractions, um, angles, all sorts of different games that you can do. And, and here you could add a link um, within this topic 13. So it could be something to do with measurement. And then you could also assign that to your students too. So you can, you could even upload um, a file from the GCGs if you wanted them to complete uh, one of the like mini assessment sets within those, those old evidence of learning tasks, like the Howard County tasks. You could upload any of those files within here too. Or you could actually even build a test and um, have some test questions available for them as well. So there, there's a lot that you can do within Envision. You're just going to have to play with it a little bit um, to kind of find what works best for you. So if you want to use this as a teacher resource, this is the beginning of the topic. It gives you more information. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on lesson 13-1 because that's probably where I'm going to start with my students. And I'm going to look through all of the um, resources that I have available. So um, here's the interactive student edition grade for um, lessons 13-1. If you are going to assign, you need to assign the ones that are interactive student editions. Those are the ones that are going to allow you to see what the students are doing um, versus just assigning them book pages that are not interactive, if that makes any sense at all what I just said. Um, this is a teacher tool for you. Listen and look for. What am I listening and looking for as we're going through this unit? If you want to, you are um, welcome to assign the daily review to students if you want. Um, any of this stuff you can assign to them. You just click on that left. So what um, I'm going to do and Y'all know I've preached all school year about not using this visual learning piece if you are facilitating discussion in your classroom because it kind of just gives away what the kids are going to do. But in the current situation that we're in, until we learn how to use um, Zoom and, and Skype and things like that that maybe we want to introduce with our kids, these visual learning um, lessons basically are just a short video tutorial on how to um, get kids started with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I know I'm going to for sure um, do this one. So I am going to assign this visual learning lesson. Um, I'm going to put a start date of, let's just say, maybe I want them to start tomorrow. So I'm going to say the 23rd and I'm going to give them a due date of just random. We'll just say Tuesday, the 24th. Um, I can give instructions. So I can say students. Please watch this video before moving into your interactive student work books. So I could just leave something um, basically as simple as that. Um, but you notice when I put in math, both of her classes come up. Um, so I'm just going to click on this one here. And then I'm going to click on the other one. Um, and then I'm basically just going to hit assign. And I can go back and delete those if you'd like. But look, it says nice you've created an assignment. You can do that with every single one of these um, additional items. So if I want to then go to Practice Buddy, Practice Buddy is another really great tool to use because um, it's in the format of it, get, it gathers data from them and it, and it gives you some data to see how they're doing. Um, and it gives you interactive additional practice. All of these things that are interactive or they say practice buddy, those are the ones that you want to do because it it's going to give you the opportunity to gather data um, on your students. It's going to basically auto populate into your um, up here where it says data column. And so you can see how your kids did. You can do a quick check with them. Um, all, all, all of these here that have like the little paper, they're not really interactive, but it's something that you could if you had kids who were able to, um, like the enrichment tasks, you are more than welcome to do that. 
You have ELL resources down here in Spanish if you want to um, assist some of your students and give them information in Spanish. But that's the gist of basically how to assign those. And you can assign as many um, at a time as you want to. You could also create the schedule, um, create due dates and, and those types of things. But it's not as scary as it seems to um, create those lessons in here for your students and then they have the same basically Pearson tab as they when they log into um, Student Connection that they're able to also log in to gain access to this and you can um, see where they've logged in and completed that assignment for you. But basically, like I said, it's, it's pretty simple. If you need any help with this, I have no problem helping you or um, walking you through this or even doing this with you and doing like a screen share like this so you can kind of get the hang of it. But I just wanted to show you how to log into Pearson and log into Envision to be able to assign lessons to your students that they're able to interact with. Um, use this in conjunction with iReady and I think that'll be a really good starting point for you um, and to get your students working on some content um, and you being able to see exactly what they're doing. So like I said, if you have any questions, this is going to be a learning thing for us. I have no problem walking you through this step by step. Um, I can help you as much as possible with this this new way of work, but I wanted to definitely hop on and show you how to assign those lessons so you could go ahead and try to get started with your kids this week um, or try to at least practice going through the motions of these steps. So you guys got this. Um, I'm looking forward to learning and, and this new way of work too. It's actually exciting for me to kind of do something new and different. So I look forward to growing with you guys. And like I said, if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, thank you so very much. And I will uh, catch up with you guys soon.